Do you know what the Christian dish symbol actually stands for? Find out on today's episode of Bible Bites. You know, a lot of people, and a lot of Christians as well, don't actually know what it means when they see the fish symbol on the back of the cars, or what the, how does that equal Christianity? A lot of us don't understand that. Um, and some of us that do understand that believe in the fact that Jesus called us to be fishers of men, and that is a completely true statement. But that's not what originated the fish. That's just one of many things that could have caused to its um, origination and the why it was first created. The truth is, the fish symbol originated during the Roman times, during the underground movement of the church. Christianity was illegal, and people who were accused of Christianity could be condemned to death. And this is a lot of what happened in the Roman Colosseum, would be Christians fighting for their lives because they're discovered for their faith, and that's not looked highly upon at all. Um, so, the Christian fish symbol originated in this time, and as you can see over here, over here, the fish symbol actually is ichthus, as I have spelled out there in Greek symbols. Jesus is actually an acronym. It stands for Jesus, Christos, Dios, Huios, and Sota. Let's start from the beginning of this acronym to figure out what it means. Jesus is the Greek word for Jesus. I think that one's pretty easy to understand. It's pretty basic. Jesus means Jesus. The next letter would be Christos. And that just goes with Jesus, saying Jesus the Christ. So Jesus Christ. And then we have Theos. Theos stands for God. That's where we get the word theology and other like words. Um, and then Huios stands for Son. So, so far we're at Jesus Christ, God's Son. And then the last word in that, Sontar, that means Savior. So the entire acronym is Jesus Christ, God's Son, Savior. And something I failed to specify earlier is that ichthus, which is that Greek word, actually means fish. So this is where the fish originated in Christianity. Now something cool that was back then is Christians used this fish as kind of like a secret code to match other Christians. The, if one Christian was talking to someone else, as they were walking and talking in the dirt, they draw the top half of the fish symbol. And if the other person they were talking to was a Christian as well, they would know to finish the bottom half of the fish symbol to make the completed fish. And at that point, they could be free to talk about whatever they wanted and to share their faith. And obviously, this has evolved since that time frame to where now it's something you find in the back of cars. You'll find fishes eating other fishes and competed religion and craziness. But had the very pure and simple startup as a way to spread the faith and a way to share your faith without getting in trouble for it. And it was a tool used by the underground church. So I hope that next time you see this fist symbol and you can understand what it really means and maybe have a deeper appreciation for it in that way. God bless. Thanks for watching today's episodes of Bible Bites. I really appreciate your support in this series. Um, I'm uploading a new video every single Monday, and I'm hoping to get some other guests on here, and we're going to do like a testimony series with them, so I'm excited to get that started up in the next few weeks. Um, I'd like to ask you at this time if I have a Patreon account, and Patreon is something where you support me by just saying that every month that I'm making videos, you're going to pay a certain amount of money. It could be like a dollar or five dollars. and this would be extremely appreciated. I'm doing this and this takes a lot of my time. And like I said in other videos, I am in college and this is kind of a source of uh, devotion and a source of learning experience for me as I go into the ministry, but it's also kind of like a job for me. So I would really, really support it so much. If you could go in, click the link to Patreon down in the description below and support this channel. If you get five dollars or more, I will feature your name in the end of this video, and I'm working on other perks for people who give even more than that. And thank you so much for doing this, and I hope to see you on next week's episode of Bible Bites. See ya!